This video reviews the many capture options available in your Medmont Meridia topographer. First start by creating a new patient. Go to Home and New, then enter your patient information. Once selected, then you can go up to the Corneal Topographer Capture icon. Once selected, this brings up a window with many different capture options. The standard capture that you might do is the corneal topography capture. This gives you a large view of the cornea. It's good for doing screening topographies of the eye. Is it regular? Is it irregular? Is it diseased? Is it post-surgical? Any of these questions can be answered by the single topography capture. When you require a larger view of the cornea, when you would like limbus to limbus data, when you are building a specialty corneal GP or scleral lens as an example, you will choose a composite topography. So anytime that you want a lot more information on the cornea, you want to include the peripheral cornea all the way around, building limbus to limbus coverage, then you use the composite topography. And that's going to string five different fixations together to create the larger view of the eye. The next test is video topography, and this allows you to observe the placido reflection off the tear film through a succession of images that can be seen in video. So multiple images would be taken. The user can decide how many frames per second and how many seconds you would like the test to go, and that will allow you to observe the tear film in real time. The next test is a tri-eye test called the tear film surface quality analysis. And what it does is instead of assessing the shape of the eye, it's going to evaluate the fluid on top of the cornea. How smooth is it? And at what point does it break up? So this is the way to do non-invasive tear film breakup time testing. The bottom three tests are more photography or image oriented. As an example, an anterior capture is similar to the white light photography that you might do with your slip lamp. The fluorescein capture would be similar to the cobalt capture that you might do with your slip lamp. The meibomian gland would of course be using infrared to assess the meibomian glands of the upper and lower lids. Each one of the tests uses a similar platform, a similar control of the camera settings, illumination, and options. So really, you're only changing the light source for each of these, white light, blue light, and infrared light. Otherwise, the tests perform very similarly. You can assess in both single images and in video. So with the new Medmont Meridia, we have many different options that we're able to use to assess corneal topography shape, to assess the tear film quality, to understand the cornea and sclera in white light, to assess the fluorescein patterns of our contact lenses, or even to have an understanding of the staining of the conjunctival or epithelial surface. And then finally, to understand the meibomian glands. These various tests make the Medmont Meridia the multifunction tool that you use in your practice for such a wide variety of applications.